Hello Divinity people and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to make three things. One is this Ganpati ji on canvas board. Second thing is we are going to make these cute little birdie coasters. And the third thing is we are going to do stamp art on fabric. So let's get started. First I am making the Ganpati ji on the canvas board. Here I am using 8 into 10 canvas board. My little helper is helping me in making the sketch of Ganpati ji. We always contribute and help each other in making all 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 the artworks. Once the sketching part is done, we are going to head on to the clay work. As usual, I am using the fabric roll molded clay to make the 3D parts wherever I want on the canvas board. Let me tell you some facts about Ganesha. Do you ever thought why Ganesha is having an elephant head? You may recognize Ganesh. He is famous around the world for his elephant's head. Having an elephant's head makes Ganesha special. He has all the wisdom, loyalty and compassion of an elephant and his large ears means he can clearly hear the needs of his people. Let me tell you another fact about Ganesha. Ganesha won a race with his mouse mount. Yes, he did. One day, Ganesh had to raise his brother Kartikeya to see who would be chosen to take care of people on earth. They had to race around the universe and the first one back would win. Kartikeya thought there was no way he could lose. He had a speedy peacock mount and Ganesh had only a mouse. Kartikeya took off as soon as the race began but Ganesha slowly circled his parents. When he was finished, he said he had ended the race. The gods looking on didn't understand, so Ganesh explained that he respected and loved his parents so much that when he circled them, he circled his entire universe. The gods decided Ganesh had shown wisdom and loyalty so he should be the one to take care of people on the earth Now we are going to make the cute birdie coasters. First I am applying the DIY gesso as the base coat. Once the DIY gesso is applied, the next thing that we have to apply is the color of your choice. I am using the sky blue color. Once the painting is done, we have to draw the figure of the birds. Once the drawing is done, we can start the painting. You can paint whatever color you like or for the birds. I'm using all the bright and dark colors so it looks good.
let's do the third DIY that is printing with the stamp on a uh, fabric this DIY is really very simple and really very creative you can use it uh, for your simple table mats and turn it into this even the stamp that we are using is DIY yes it is so you have to first draw what you want on the table uh, mat and then you have to transfer it into a foam sheet then when you transfer it you get the design then you can use a cutter to cut it once you are done cutting and shaping the stencil you have to stick it on a box nicely spread your table mat on a flat surface and then do the stamping work So for the another table uh, cloth, what did I do? I used the same shape and the pattern uh, that I had made for the stamp but I used different colors and here I gave the two combination color red and green. We are at the end of the video guys. I hope you like this video. Please let me in the comment sections below which DIY you like the most.